we will proceed to problem number 4 in isometric 1. The problem goes like this. A sphere of diameter 30 mm rests on the first stem of a hexagonal pyramid. Base 30 mm, top face 18 mm side. Base 30 mm hexagon side, top is 18 mm hexagon side and height is 50 mm such that their axes coincide, that means axes are coplanar. Draw the isometric projection of the combined solids. I repeat, it is 30 mm diameter, a sphere of 30 mm diameter rests on first stem of a hexagonal pyramid. First stem of hexagonal pyramid, bottom hexagon has got 30 mm side, top hexagon is 18 mm side, the height is 50 mm. Draw the combination in isometric projection. This is in fact is one of my favorite problem, one of my favorite problem and a very good problem to show your skill in drawing the hexagon. To draw the hexagon pentagon, please remember compulsorily you have to make use of the isometric scale because you come across odd dimensions, isometric scale. If the dimensions are even dimensions like 10 mm, 20 mm, 15 mm, you can do it directly on the graph sheet. But when you have odd dimensions, you have to make use of the isometric scale and carry on the answer. I just drawn here, top view front is the first term of a hexagon pyramid. You have drawn top view here, 30 mm, 30, a hexagon, and inside it is a 18 mm hexagon. Connecting the top and bottom, you have a slant edges. You have a sphere. The front view is drawn, it is only an approximate figure. What I have drawn here, it is an approximate figure, not an accurate figure. Just to indicate the situation, a hexagon pyramid carrying a 30 millimeter diameter sphere, a sphere of 30 mm diameter. This is a sphere of diameter 30 millimeter, of diameter 30 millimeter, dia 30 millimeter dia. Now, how to draw this in isometric projection? In my earlier discussion, I told you how to enclose the entire hexagon in a box, prepare the box, and locate the six points isometrically. I'm going to adopt the same procedure. You enclose the hexagon, that is 30 mm hexagon in a box like this. Enclose the 30 mm hexagon in a box in this manner. In a box in this manner, you enclose it. This is drawn actual scale. This is drawn to the actual scale, actual scale. Let me name the corners for comfortable purpose. You have top, hexagon, bottom hexagon, and bottom hexagon, I just call this as A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, and then F1. Top hexagon, let me call this A, B, C, D, E, F corner, six corners are drawn. Now, you have to measure the, the enclosed rectangle. Length of the rectangle, breadth of the rectangle you measure. That means you are going to measure the length of the rectangle and breadth of the rectangle, this and this, convert to isometric, convert to isometric. Draw here isometric L, draw here isometric L, draw here isometric B, isometric B, isometric grid, draw the parallel lines, complete the rectangle. Draw the parallel lines, complete the rectangle. Now, from the corner, you measure A1. From the corner B1, all are same, corner D1, corner E1. You measure actual dimension, convert to isometric, mark here A1 from the corner, mark here A1 from the corner, we have here B1, then we have here D1 and then E1, E1 you get. C1, F1 in the middle of B, locate the midpoint here, you get here the point here, this is F1, that is C1, bottom hexagon is ready. Bottom hexagon, hexagon six points ready. Bottom hexagonal six points are ready. You can complete them. We can come. We can just complete in this manner. This is ready. Now, for the top hexagon, you include this again in a box. The 18 mm hexagon, enclose this in a box in this manner. Enclose this in a box in this manner. 18 mm hexagon. Then again, you measure here small l and small b. There is the length of the rectangle, the width of the rectangle, the B, width of the rectangle, you measure them. Convert and use it for the isometric now. I am going to adopt center to center method. I am going to adopt center to center method. 
you draw the center line for the rectangle get the center of the rectangle then take the height from the center from here you take the height 50 mm height you take 50 mm height from here to here you take here 50 mm height from here measure isometrically 50 mm then draw here a 30 degree line draw here a 30 degree line the moment you take the height now I want L, L and B rectangle I, and I want a smaller hexagon here what you can do you measure this L actual L convert to isometric you measure here L by 2 and then L by 2 L side don't go to the other side you measure B then measure here B by 2 and B by 2 measure actual convert to isometric mark here L by 2 L by 2 measure actual convert to isometric mark here b by 2 b by 2 then draw parallel lines then you draw the parallel lines through those points you get a rectangle there you get a rectangle you get a rectangle on the top of it then as you located six points here locate a b c d six measure and then locate them here six points to locate in the uh, top rectangle we got here we got a rectangle you that means one point you can just look if you want i'll locate here a b C, D, E, and then F. So we have a hexagon in the top of it. I repeat once again, bottom hexagon made a rectangle box, made a rectangle box, got the six points located, center to center, I took the height, 50 millimeter, and top rectangle, rectangle. After locating, I had drawn 30 line, 30 line, then L by 2, L by 2, B by 2, B by 2, draw parallel, parallel, third degree line, you get a rectangle. Inside the rectangle, locate six points A, B, C, D. Now, locate the center and the sphere is 30 mm diameter. I have given a clear picture that is, you should take ISO height, ISO height that is O, smaller, with O as center, actual 1, 5, 15 mm radius, actual radius, you draw here the sphere. So you draw here sphere, you can draw the sphere here with the radius 15 mm actual because it is 30 mm dia, 15 mm actual 30 mm dia. So you draw the sphere. How to complete the one which are visible? Top hexagon is not fully visible. Top hexagon is not fully visible because partly hidden by the, hidden by the sphere. Now, between the top corner to bottom corner, that's why I made A, B, C, D, E, A, A1, you can join them, slant it, then we have here B, B1, then F, F1, then E, E1, you can join them. Then outer boundary, the hexagon, outside visible, inside it is not visible, inside it is not visible. That is the axis, axis, you can show the axis for the hexagon. This is the answer in a final answer. Requires small amount of skill in locating the six points here and joining them. It requires a small amount of skill. So do it carefully. It may take a little more time. Maybe you may spend five minutes extra time compared to other problems, but very carefully show your skill. This figure, which is drawn actual figure, must be drawn to the scale, actual scale properly. Front view not necessary to draw because this is what measurement that is required here to complete this answer, to complete this answer. So uh, we are coming to the final shape of the answer, final uh, shape of the answer. Uh, it is a sphere resting on a first term of a hexagon pyramid, bottom 30 mm, top is 18 mm, that is the final construction. So you should construct the hexagon, hexagon, get it done here. This is the procedure you should draw. That's the final answer for the entire answer, that the entire problem which is under consideration. Very good problem. I want every student to practice this problem. Show your skill preparing the horizontal uh, hexagon at the bottom, at the, at the top of it, and drawing the sphere, locating the height with the ISO, ISO height, then drawing it with the actual radius, that is sphere.